Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Welcome to this Me Rejuvenated Monday where I believe that Mondays should be optional. And today, it's blueberries. Today it was pretty optional. Um, so basically, you know, the thing that I'm thinking about right now, talking about is like having God to help me make decisions. What a joy that is. So stay with me so we can discuss that. Um, yeah, yeah. So, all right. So my name is Sheila Rollins, for those of you who do not know. And I am the founder of Shula Ministries Entertainment and Associates, Inc. And on this YouTube, we are Overcomers Anonymous, where we support anyone designed to overcome anything. And we do it with Jesus Christ being a higher power and also what he's accomplished for us on the cross. Therefore, our wholeness, our completeness, our cleanliness, those things that we thought were impossible becomes possible with Jesus Christ. However, in order for us to get all that he has to offer, we need to be obedient to his word. Yes, the King James is what he encouraged me to read. And I encourage you to read the King James Version of the Bible. And to be obedient also to his commandments, including the fourth commandment where he admonishes us to keep the seventh day Sabbath. These things are binding on us for eternal life. The description, which is the arrow next to the title, check it out. I have more information in there, okay? And if you scroll down below, you can make a comment, okay? Um, you know, comment on, on anything, you know, about do you have, do you use Jesus to help you make decisions, you know, help you make a decision? Um, do you? Do you not? How do you go about making decisions? drawing a conclusion and making a decision about something, okay? Um, and also, if you want to drop me a title, you know, or you could just say hello, all right? Just say hello if you don't want to comment. So, okay, so so basically, um, you know, I was, I had been, I had made a, a cognitive list of some things that I needed. And so with the holiday coming up and everything, uh, you know, my daughter wants me to come and to be with her and her family. Um, I figured that I'm going to be needing my oven. I'm, I'm having a little technical difficulty, so just kind of bear with me, please. Um, it's going to be corrected soon. Um, but I couldn't even video last night. But anyway trying to leave that behind. So, okay. So today I had a decision on to whether or not to buy a new stove, get the old one fixed or get a used one. So first of all, when the whole idea came about getting a stove, I wasn't really even thinking about that. And it came through a blessing really, because I had a bill that I owed, and I don't know if I gave this testimony. I know I gave it at church, but I had a bill that I owed, which I thought was $100. It turned out that it was like $350. So I went on and paid it. The next thing I know, the lady that I, that, you know, waited on me, her name was Tracy. Um, and I'm going to just give a shout out to Burns. Burns um, Heated and Air Conditioned Repair. Second, I believe it's second and um, Green Hill Avenue up that way. Um, yeah, Ford Avenue around there, Gray Avenue around that area. We just give a shout out to them. They have been awesome to me. And so basically, I went to pay. Next thing I know, she's calling me back. I paid over the phone. She's calling me back and she said, my brother said, our system has crashed. We're under new management. We don't really know what you owe, and he doesn't feel right taking anything from you. I thought I owed a hundred, okay, about a hundred dollars. They weren't even willing to take the hundred dollars from me. They gave me back all of my money. So I was praising God. So God brought it to my mind. Remember, you need to do something about your stove. And so anyway, I was like, oh, yeah, okay, that'd be a really, really good time because my little stovetop little oven that my um, ex-sister-in-law bought me, uh, it has gone out on me at least once or twice. So I'm figuring that it's going to be gone 
totally one day. Uh, and so, you know, I need to get my, my, either get the oven fixed, stove fixed. It's really the oven or get another one, just what to do. And so I was really, really praying. So I went and I priced some, um, stoves, man, I tell you, it's been a long time since I bought a stove, like 25 years. Okay. And those were really, really expensive. I do not want to pay $2,300, $1,000. I, I don't want to pay that right now. Okay. And so basically, you know, I was still praying, you know, about the decision, like, you know, exactly what to do. You know, when I, when I called to see about getting the stove repaired, basically the repairman said it'd be like 160 for him to repair it. Now that doesn't include the part. And so, okay, so I don't know what it would be, but anyway, I'm figuring two fifty, maybe two hundred fifty dollars. Okay, and then I'm thinking, okay, rather than to put that money into uh my, the stove that's like at least twenty years old, I can just get another stove. Now I did see a stove there that was like three hundred and something. Okay. Um, and so some of the concerns that I had was like getting it hooked up, getting the stove hooked up. You know, I saw online that they had, somebody had a free stove. Another person had one where, you know, you pay and basically, um, you know, you pay $22 for, you know, a delivery fee. Um, another person was like three or $400 or something like that. It was different ranges of prices. And the problem with that was that unless I bought it from an entity, I would, I would be a kind of leery about buying a used stove from a person. You know what I mean? I mean, the entity, their person too, but this is what they do. And then I needed somebody to hook it up and take out the old stove if I bought a new one. And so anyway, um, you know, I was just kind of taking my time and just kind of really praying and looking at my options and all that. Comment down below what you think I should do. Should I go back and get the brand new stove that costs about $390, okay? Um, they will probably attach a delivery fee and also a fee to move the other one, you know? Uh, or should I get the get the stove fixed for about $250 or should I just go to get a used one? They said that the used one was be, be about $200 $260 for a used one. Okay. Uh, which they said that they, it would not be ready because I was looking to get it something black because my, um, my refrigerator that I just got, the refrigerator is black. So, uh, so I was looking to get something black you know, it could be stainless steel in black, you know, it could even be black and white, but something with black in it. So anyhow, he said he didn't have anything at the moment, but he would have something fine. Cause I was like, can you show me a picture of what it looks like? And he was not able to do that. But anyhow, I thank God that I'm not alone in the choices, the decisions that I have to make. Trust me when I tell you, God will send me a dream. You know, he will send somebody to tell me and, and it will resonate. Now, I'm not saying that just anybody could just tell me anything. No, I have to feel it in my heart. I have to feel it in my soul to know it's what God wants me to do. And that's what I'm going to wait on. So pray for me. You know, comment if you ever had a decision and you lean totally on God and you knew. And I've had decisions before that I had to make. And totally lead it on God to put me in a good place, a real, real good place. So basically, that's all I have, you know, for you. Um, remember to share the YouTubes. Give me thumbs up. Uh, encourage subscription. And don't forget to subscribe yourself if you haven't already just subscribed. Now, to him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. I love you. See you in the next YouTube.